What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Martin and today I'm taking a look at our E55's baby brother, the C55. Now it's actually such a cool car because as you know we love our E55 and you guys do too because of all the views that car has got. So I expect even more from this because this is such an icon, such a rare car. It really is an E55 on an 80% scale. It really looks the same. It has the same dimensions, the same just culture about it. I really love that. So as you can see, a 5.5 AMG is in there. Well, it's a 5.4, but you know, they always do this at AMG. When they have a 6.2, they say 6.3. So they round it up positively. So we are on winter tires today. It's cool, it's wet. So yeah, we have these 17 inch BBS winter tires. And as you can see, this is a combi. So a station wagon or an estate car, whatever you want to call it. And that's what makes this such an icon, such a rarity because only 595 of these are around so that's pretty special this is a 2004 car so quite an old beast but a beast it still is it has been well taken care of and this is even more special because this comes with the optional performance package with upgraded brakes upgraded exhaust and a limited slip diff but I'll tell you more about that later. So these are the upgraded brakes. They barely fit in there. So these are larger and you know, they have better performance, stuff like that. AMG caliper right there. So they come with 18 inch wheels as standard, 225 in the front, 245 in the rear. But since this is a winter set, this is also a 225. So this has the performance package. So it has a limited slip diff at the rear and fun fact is that when they developed the performance package they got the c320 cdi diff and redesigned it for this performance package so that's a real fun fact so at the back we have a quad exhaust the c55 was the first amg ever to get a quad exhaust how cool is that and this is the performance exhaust so again, they barely fit in there. This is the iconic oval AMG design that you also got on the newer types, C63. And they just look awesome and classic. And I just love this thing. Just have a look at how spacious it is. Wow, that's so cool. And this is back when Mercedes built their best cars, I think. I mean, <laughs> This is nearly 20 years old and the quality of everything is just unmatched. So, when you see this, you'd think like, okay, just an old C-Class, but the connoisseur will see that this grille is a bit different. It's flatter, it's redesigned. Um, the bonnet isn't even from a C-Class, it's from a CLK. How awesome is that? just so that V8 fits in there. I really, really love stuff like that. That just doesn't happen anymore. That hardcore upgrading of cars, just fitting different parts from bigger brothers, nephews. It's all about adding hybridization and a different remap. The romance is gone, if you ask me. So let's just have a look at that lovely engine because this is a well-known friend of ours. This is basically the E55 AMG engine without the supercharger. So that leaves you with 367 horsepower, 520 newton meters. Now this generation of C-Class AMG first came with a v6 supercharged producing 354 horsepower so that's only a 15 horsepower upgrade but they just wanted to 
redesigned the whole car because the C32 AMG was just a C-Class with a big engine. But with this one, they redesigned the suspension, the steering, and to celebrate that, they just put that big V8 in here. And it was handcrafted by Loren... I can't read it. Lorenzo Saparito, I think that's the name, in a Falter Bark. So zero to 100, about five seconds, top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, but we know that with the performance package, uh, the limiter has been raised to like 280, and if you remove the limiter, 280, 290 easily. There we go. Let's just give it a try. It's a big old 5.4 V8 with a performance exhaust. Now, what does that sound like? Not even that loud, right? I mean, this is an upgraded exhaust, but that was just AMG's philosophy back in the day. They wanted to be fast, but not too obnoxious and not too, they didn't want to draw any attention. They want the average dentist to drive this car with his family, enjoy it and not draw a crowd. I mean, it's completely the opposite of what they have been doing lately, you know? And I really like this approach. So the interior, really nice. I mean, a 20 year old car. Just have a listen to this. How strong is that switch still? You can just hear it. The buttons, everything looks really nice. This car has done 225,000 kilometers. The leather is soft, everything is nice. The carpets are still nice. The metals are still nice. This was the golden age. So we can turn off ESP. It's a sport mode that will intervene when you have wheel spin for too long of a time, but it does allow some playfulness. Okay, let's go. So 595, I mean, we have to thank Michael from Switzerland. He's visiting friends in this area. Um, and he said, okay, I'm at your place on that day. Can you come and test my car? So, you know, normally we don't test cars in the rain, especially rear wheel driven V8s, but it was either today or never. So. I'm so glad that I went over here because I love, love this thing. <laughs> that sound is incredible. So what's new compared to the C32 is that with the reword gearbox, we now also have a manual mode. And I just floored it in sport mode, so an auto mode. And it will only rev up to like 6,300, I guess. But the red line actually is at 68. So it will go past the red line shown here. That's a bit weird. You know, with an NA engine, normally the more revs you do, the powerful it gets. So, Yeah, it's not. You have these tiny buttons at the back of the steering wheel for up and down shifting. Um, that's the rev limiter. What an awesome sound. It's so tight, so crisp. Man, I love this car. Max is on holiday right now, skiing, and he has taken the E55 as a travel companion, but how cool would it have been to have those cars next to each other? Unfortunately, we cannot do it, but they are just siblings that never met. Oh, what an awesome, awesome thing this is. 
but it's so civilized and I really like that about this. It's not too loud, it, it's not very flashy. You can just enjoy this and then just go to church and you would be a respectable person. Oh. So as I said, uh, they redesigned the whole car, especially the suspension setup. It's 20% stiffer. The steering is 7% faster. So it's 2.7 turns lock to lock, which is actually pretty direct. And you can really feel it. This is much more of a driver's car than the E55, which is just like a bouncy castle with uh, a nuclear bomb in the front. This is really much more about driving and enjoying the turn in, enjoying the suspension, the dynamics of the car, those big brakes. Let me turn on the speedo cam. Yeah, I was enjoying that a bit too much, so I forgot to turn that on. Let's go to auto sport mode and Watch where it will shift. Pretty lazy and early, so you really have to use that manual mode to extract everything from this car. Um, and there is a lot to extract. Not even in a straight line performance way, but just everything about this car is to make it better than an Audi S4, better than an M3, um, and they seem to have succeeded because I'm just really impressed. It was also faster than the M3 in a straight line, so 100 to 200. In 13 and a half seconds. Oh. Which is pretty quick for a 20 year old 367 horsepower estate. So the suspension is just super, super impressive. I mean, the turn-in of this car, this is on winter tires and it's just so communicative and you just want to throw it in and have the back thrown out. And, oh, it's just such an enjoyable car. Thanks a lot, Michael, for bringing your C55 AMG Combi to us i really enjoyed it and i hope it will meet its big brother someday so thank you for watching and go subscribe to our channel go check out the playlist or watch this video thanks guys bye